Yo, what's up, everyone? I was just at Kaylee R's um, stream. Her shit just went live and everything. Let me show y'all. Click off that. It went live 15 minutes ago. Let me click on that. See? This video has been removed for violating YouTube's terms of service. And keep in mind, you guys, even if your video does not violate terms of service, your video can still be taken down. YouTube has said, said this as well, too. Let me show y'all. Yeah, I'm back. Um... It says, important, due to COP19, we are conducting a few human uh, reviews to protect the health of our extended workforce. Unfortunately, as a result, we may remove content that does not violate our our guide our community guidelines. Let me show y'all something. Okay, this is from YouTube's uh, creator blog. Protecting our extended uh, workforce in the community, and this was they put this up uh, on Monday. Uh, think about two weeks ago, March 16, 2020. Today, as an uh, unprecedented 19 situation continues, you, Google outlines how it reduced the need for people to come in into its office while ensuring that its products continue to operate for everyone, we are committed to keeping the YouTube community informed about our actions related to this. And dedication locations are, dedicated location, location is our, Help Center. Here is our update from last week. Below is some more information about reduction of in-office staffing as it relates to YouTube. We have team up as YouTube as well as partner companies that help support and protect the YouTube community from people who respond to user and creators questions to reviewers who evaluate videos for possible uh, policy violation. This team and company are staffed by thousands of people dedicated to help users and creators. As a coronavirus response evolves, we are taking the actions needed to prioritize the well-being of our employees, our extensive workforce in the community where they live, include reducing in office staffing in certain sites. Our community guidelines enforcement today is based upon a combination of people and technology. Machine learning helps detach potential harmful content and then sends it to a human reviewer to assessment. As a result of the new measures we're taking, we will temporarily hit him more on technology to help 
with some of the work normal normally done by reviews so basically it would be automatic um it would all be automatic systems flagging your video down <sighs> we can continue to act quickly to remove violated uh, content and protect our ecosystem while we have a workforce protection in place as we do this users and users and creators may see increase Video removal includes some videos that may not violate the policy. We won't we won't issue strikes on this content except in cases where we have high confidence that is violation. So even if they give you a strike and they won't necessarily even if they give you, uh, even if they remove your video, uh, they won't necessarily give you a strike. But if it's like a, but if they feel like it's it's a, a high, you know, thing, it's a major issue, a major violation, they will. If creators think that their content was removed in error, they can appeal. You can appeal. So you can always appeal if you feel like it was a mistake. And our team will take a look. But however, note that our workforce costumes will also result in delay of appeal review. So that means it could take a long time until they get back to you and say, Okay, this video is okay. Or this video is not We'll also be more cautious about content Content gets promoted, including live streams. In some cases, um, um, reviews, content may not be available via the search on, on the home page in recommendation. So if the content gets gets uh unreviewed content well some content won't be available for you know searches or or recommendations so you won't find certain type of content and and some people would uh some people uh they haven't been able to find my streams and search for my streams and stuff like that. Um, and you know how when you go live and you schedule a live and people can search for, you know, your channel name to see if you are live. But now they're having problems with that. So, so all eligible creators would still be able to monetize videos and it does not change the update or the monetization coronavirus related videos we shared last week. We'll continue enforcing our policy regarding coronavirus content including removing videos that discourage people from seeking medical treatment or claim harm, harmful sumptuous have health benefits. So if you are trying to discourage people from seeking medical help, uh, if your videos, and I think that's including comments too and messages, you know, they can remove and everything like that, so... So be careful and don't don't be surprised if somehow you go live and your video shuts down somehow. But I know a few YouTubers every time they go live, their video has been getting shut down like constantly. And some YouTubers haven't. So some some things they 
they remove and some things they don't. So you just don't be surprised. But don't be scared because if your video doesn't violate any any guidelines, uh, community guidelines, then you don't got nothing to worry about. Uh, but if you end up receiving a strike for it, you can appeal it. But it just know that it would take a while for them to review it because they don't have a lot of people to review it at this moment. So, yeah, uh, stay safe, stay blessed, stay woke. And I hope everyone has a good, awesome uh, day. Uh, just know that, you know, you can still upload videos. You can still go live. You can still do what you do. And just be cautious on your title, how you title your videos, what you put on the description, and what you talk about on your video. But you can talk about, you know, what you want to talk about, but just... Just have a limit. But uh, anyways, uh, I will see you later. Bye-bye.